What's going on everybody? It's Raymond from Transform Your Dog and today we're going to discuss common mistakes that couples make when getting a brand new dog. Stay tuned. So the one thing that I hear my clients say during my consultations or meeting them in the streets is that they're not on the same page when it comes to discipline. Most of the time when I ask my clients, what is your idea of discipline? And a very common response is, I do not hit my dogs. That is not the response that I'm looking for. Discipline is your dog knowing what the rules and boundaries and limits of your house without you constantly having to be there. It's the same as driving down the street and stopping at every stop sign and every red light without a police officer having to constantly be there to monitor you. You know the rules, you know the boundaries, and you know there are consequences to your actions, and you know that the government and your police officers will hold you accountable for making mistakes. So the idea of discipline in your house is how do you and your significant other feel what it's, you both agree on of how are you going to discipline your dog so your dog understands that they made a mistake, you're going to hold them accountable, and they understand, and your significant other is not going to get upset about it. The second common mistake that I hear my clients say is how the significant other is always undermining their rules and boundaries and their limits. So it's very frustrating, it's a great way to ruin your relationship. It's very common, especially in my practice, to see relationships be on the brink of ending because of a dog or even a cat. Because neither of you are on the same page, not with discipline, but also you have the other who is undermining you behind your back. So your dog only understands that one person in the whole family applies rules and boundaries and respect and the other is easily to be manipulated. And that's all they're doing. You may confuse this with love, but in reality your dog sees that there is no resistance coming from the significant other so they can get treats and love and affection without working for it. And that's a great way for your dog to understand that you are not the pack leader. The other one, is the other significant other is the pack leader, but when they're not around, you are not in control. So, it's best to get on the same page when it comes to not only discipline, like I said before, but also applying the rules and boundaries that your significant other has placed in his or her house and respect that. The third common mistake that couples make when getting a dog is they're also not on the same page when it comes to applying rules and boundaries in the house. Some people like the dog on the sofa, some people don't. Some people don't mind the dog walking in front of them, some people don't. So it's best to get on the same page because again, like I said before, your dog learns that there are certain people in your family that they can get over on and manipulate and there are others that they are respectful and you know cautious or whatever. So it's best to talk to your significant other before adopting the dog and even I always tell my clients, write it down you know, out of sight, out of mind. If your guests don't know what the rules are and significant other don't know what the rules are and you're just kind of just throwing them out as you go, it tends to cause some rifts in the family. So write it down, go to Walmart, go to, go to CVS, go to whatever corner store you have, get a poster board and write them down. No dog on the leash or no dog on the sofa, no dog on, you know, in the kitchen when cooking and so on and so forth. It's up to you, it's your house. But again, your significant other needs to agree on it. The number four reason that couples are having issues with their dog is one or both of the, uh, the dog owners are treating the dog like a child. I've heard of all before, couples get together, they get married and they go, hey, let's practice with the dog. They get a dog and they treat the dog like an actual baby, like as if the animal is thinking like a human, which they don't, and the dog ends up causing a lot of problems in the, in the family. I've seen couples been torn apart because of dogs. So it's best, again, to tell your significant other or work with the professional and ask them, how am I supposed to treat my dog or how does my dog think? And it's just so it can make it easier for you. Dog training is not just for tricks. It's about your dog understanding how to communicate with you. So treating your dog like a child, like a human child, is very disrespectful for them considering that they're animals and they're well aware of who they are and what they are. It's us that kind of ruins that for them. So, again, come to an understanding that dogs are not babies. They're not a good practice for, for owning a baby. So, if anything, ask your friends to babysit every once in a while and you'll see there is no, there's a big difference. The fifth mistake that a lot of couples make when getting a brand new dog, and this one frustrates me the most, is they're getting advice from non-dog trainers 
on how to train your dog. Guys, find a professional. They're everywhere. I live here in New Jersey and there's about 10 within like 10, 10 15 miles from each other. We're everywhere, especially if you're in LA or, or New York. We're very common, especially on YouTube. Stop getting advice from your friend who owned a dog 15 years ago and he knows exactly what it's like or who's a retired police officer. Like, stop it. Your friends are not professionals and they don't live in this world. We live in this world. We think, eat, sleep, and we're always about dogs. So call a professional, email me, go on our Instagram, go on our YouTube, and ask us. If you have any questions, look up your local newspaper, look up your, your yellow pages, and look up on Google. I guarantee you there's somebody out there who is willing to help you. Stop taking advice from people who are not dog trainers. The sixth common mistake that couples make when, getting, when adopting a dog or getting a new dog is letting the dog have free range of the house the second you get the dog. Guys, you must understand, your dog just met you. They have no idea who you are. And I understand that you're getting from a shelter or from a crappy situation and you want that dog to understand, I am your friend, I am not like those humans. But at the same time, your dog is still understanding that you are very lenient you know you're putting a lot of pressure on them when it comes to hey here's my huge house you can go wherever you want do whatever you want no rules no boundaries that's not good and then you have older dogs who are training your <laughs> your younger dog it's not good guys you want to be involved in your dog's education I tell my clients all the time especially with puppies and even children you're training them and teaching them even when you're not your dog has nothing better to do but to watch you all day so they understand your frustrations they see your your mannerisms change and fluctuate your emotions are constantly changing and they start realizing you're unpredictable and I can't trust you because you're not in control of your emotions I've seen clients when they look at a puppy especially ones in the shelter they start bursting out crying I've had clients give their dogs to me for a few weeks and just start bursting out crying and that's fine let the, let the water works let that damn unclog and just let it flow that's fine but you have to understand that your dog sees that and that is why they treat you differently that is why they treat you the way that they do you're you're you were so concerned with the dog wanting to be your buddy without first understanding that you are his his provider his guardian you are their parent you are they're not your buddy first they need to understand that you are in control again they are predators they have teeth and claws they have muscles you have no idea. So you have to understand that giving a dog free range of your house the minute you meet them is a great way to let your dog know you are in charge. The dog is in charge, not you. So, again, do not let your dog free range in the house the first day. Call a professional immediately. Even if the dog is two months old, six months old, a few weeks old, have a professional in your pocket so thank you guys. I, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Don't forget to drop a like. Don't forget to drop a subscribe. If you have any questions, you can just leave a comment below. If you have any of these situations ever happen to you or you have any questions, again, just leave a comment below. I really appreciate that. And if you have any couples who are interested in getting a dog and you've been pounding them and telling them, hey, don't do this, don't do that, send this video to them and let them know, like, make sure don't do common mistakes. Because again, a lot of dogs end up in the shelter because of these mistakes. And a lot of couples end up being torn apart because of these mistakes. It's easily avoidable. Again, these dogs are wonderful. They're amazing. They can bring you guys together. They can help you get out of your comfort zone and help you get out in the world. But you have to respect them first. So again, leave a like, subscribe. Thank you for watching.